Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Marissa. Uh, we're shooting some beauty shots for Adorama. This is part two of our kind of beauty campaign that we're focusing on the makeup. So in this shot, we wanted to do a really kind of fun shot of lips to show off uh, lip color and kind of the shape and stuff. And what we decided to do was to create one of these really bold lips that you uh, you may not actually wear around town all the time, but it's always cool for a photo or that kind of thing. So we've got the color going from kind of a reddish into a black, kind of a blend across. Our makeup artist, uh, Kelly's done a great job. She's actually touching it up right now so we can go continue into this. And I'm basically shooting with my Nikon over here. I've got a, the 105 again, but I have a different 105. Now I'm using the 105 macro because I want to be able to get in nice and close on this. In the end, I decided to back up a, a little bit and shoot a little more of her face to give myself more versatility, but I wanted to be the ability to get in really close, so that's why I chose a macro lens for this particular shot. Um, we had originally thought about using a ring flash or some other really punchy hard light source, but I felt like it wasn't giving us the effect we wanted, so we went back to, which we had from our previous video, the brown color para. But what I did do is I removed the diffusion. Right? It's making the light much more specular, so we're picking up the highlights on the lips because this is going to be all about shape, right? And you create shape with highlight and shadow. So we're creating highlight and then a little bit of shadow on the face, and we're doing that using negative fill, right? We've done this before. Basically, black cards on the side are going to help kind of bring in the shadows, kind of help shape the face. And we do actually have a couple of Profoto D2s on the background, just giving us a white background. We've got a gray background back there, so we just threw a little bit more light on it to make it overexposed, and now we have a nice, clean, crisp white background. And actually, we did it both ways. I actually set it up so that if I turn those lights off, we get almost a black background, because we wanted to see. We thought maybe that'd be really cool, but again, it was too much. So we actually set ourselves up with a couple of different options, because when you're doing something a little bit more funky, you want to have options for the client, because as you're working through it, they might not like that original idea, even if they came up with it. So we've given ourselves a few different options, and in the end, I like the brown color para. We've got it slightly zoomed to give us a punchy light, negative fill, and we have a nice crisp white background. Good. So I'm working through tiny, tiny differences in the pose because it makes a huge difference when you're this close to something, right? Every little bit that she turns, whether she's like, brings her chin up or down, it kind of moves it side to side, that's all gonna make a big difference. So this is just a series of very, very similar shots that are all different enough that we'll be able to pick the perfect one. All right, good. Oh, that's nice. The other thing we had to do here is I decided to back up a bit because I was looking at my depth of field and basically, depending on where I was focusing, I was either getting basically like her, her the front of her lip in focus or, or the inside of her lip. Like it was really tricky to get exactly right because she's moving. I don't want to have the perfect angle and then have the slight out of focus of the lip. So I gave myself a little bit more focus by backing up versus closing down my lens. Okay, so Marissa's in the back now getting her a change for the third look we're gonna do, which is gonna be our next video in this series. Uh, we ended up adding a little bit of gloss at the end to see how that would look, so we have a little bit of a variation here. It came out pretty cool, so we'll, we'll know when we see them, I guess, in post. But, uh, you know, again, it's good to have options for your clients. If you want to see some more shots from this, be sure to follow me on Facebook at Daniel Norton Photographer. I'll throw some extra ones up there. Also, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time on set.